Athena is using what we call a 15 degree external rotation ultrasling. And this is the one we use after instability surgery. Uh, and sometimes when, um, when the ligaments have had to be uh, released because of shoulder tightness. Um, you see a bunch of different things here. First of all, the obvious thing is the exercise ball. Uh, that's important to keep the uh, muscles in the forearm working, not only to keep them supple, but to pump blood through the injured shoulder and to help with, the, with relieving the swelling and the blood clot. Uh, the other thing that's uh, important is the little strap that goes around and under the shoulder here. Now that attaches to the back of the brace and it, uh, it keeps the, uh, the uh, pillow from migrating around the front uh, and again keeps the shoulder off to the side. There's a bunch of adjusting straps in the back but you don't really have to worry about those. The only straps that you'll ever have to worry about adjusting are those in the front, this one and this one. and. Uh, they can be tightened or loosened uh, for comfort uh, by the patient at home. Uh, the other thing is there's uh, on the 15 degree ultrasling, there's a little white line that goes right along the front. That line should be lined up with the flat of the uh, tummy on the front because that means that the shoulder's in the perfect position. Now I'm gonna let Cena show you how to take the brace off and put it back on because that's sometimes a little tricky. There are instructions that will come with uh, the sling and uh, it's a good idea to practice putting it on and off the night before surgery. Those will be in the bag when the sling comes. So Cena, you wanna show us how to take that off? Sure, so the first thing I try to explain to most patients are there are two main portions of the sling. There's what I call the uh, book bag strap and the seatbelt strap. And what I like to do is when I'm taking the, uh, the brace off, I uh, take the uh, book bag strap off and then take the seatbelt off last, and vice versa when I'm putting it back on. So that's kind of the order you want to think of it in. So the first thing I do is I take the clip, and basically uh, like a seatbelt, unclip it, and pull it behind my back like a book back strap. Now my hand is still supported next to my body by the uh, by the rest of the uh, sling and stays inside the actual sling holder by these straps across the front and the side of the uh, sling. So now I want to release my arm, so I open the thumb strap, I open the strap that goes over my forearm, and then the uh, 15 degree ultra sling, you actually have a third strap that goes between the two flaps of the sling. Now my arm is free to be removed. So the next thing I do is I go to the uh, what I call the seatbelt strap, and once again, just like a seatbelt on buckles, I press the button, it's off, and I can remove it. So that's how you take the ultra sling off. To put it back on, it's basically going back in reverse. Why don't you show us how to put it on? So now that we have the brace off to put it back on, once again, we go seatbelt, then the book bag. Especially the, the first uh, first couple times you use this, you're going to need help. After a while, hopefully, you'll be familiar enough that you can put on by yourself. But the first thing is you have the uh, brace placed in to your side, right, like so. You want to keep your arm in front of you. and. Uh, in the safe position while you're having someone else hand the, uh, the seatbelt strap to you. You put the seatbelt on, click it in, and now we stabilize our arm and our holder, put the thumb strap and the superior straps up and stabilize the uh, rest of the, uh, the two flaps that stabilize your arm for you. And now we're ready for the last one, which is the book bag, and it basically goes on just like a book bag strap. It goes on. Now we're ready to click it in. So we have the part at the front with a Don Joy written on there that goes over your shoulder. And then you have the, the little thick round pad that goes underneath your armpit. And now we're in a safe position to uh, go on our way. One thing that I always want to point out, because sometimes it does get confusing with the three straps, uh, the shoulder pad is always the soft, wide, uh, rubbery pad. and it, it's put on like an inverted Y. So it's like an upside down Y. We have one arm of the Y here, one arm of the Y here, and then the base of the Y goes up and over the shoulder. And we want this pad on the trapezius muscle, this muscle right here, uh, to serve as a cushion. Otherwise, uh, you've got a little pocket here for your cell phone or your, your goodies. And uh, some people even talk about to being able to you know, serve drinks with uh, with a, a cup on the on the 
on the uh, box here. But um, I think that uh, you'll learn to uh, enjoy the sling because uh, you'll get lots of attention. But more importantly, it'll protect your arm. We don't ask you to wear the sling 24 hours a day. That would be called sling jail, and we don't do that. But what we do want to use it is any time your shoulder would be at risk. When you're walking around, out of the house, or there's uh, activity going on, wild animals or children around, it's good to have the sling on. It's also important to have it on at night. But remember, I want you to exercise the elbow, wrist, and hand all the time you can. So when you're sitting at home, you can put your arm on a pillow, work your elbow up and down, you can use your hands for the computer, and uh, when we clear you for driving, uh, you'll need to remove the sling to drive. The hand, that hand will be a helping hand on the bottom of the steering wheel and you drive with your other hand. No cell phones while you're driving. So uh, I think that's, uh, that's it for the sling. So now we'll, uh, we'll talk about some other things.